We're not here to judge you. You wanted this information. So we'll give it to you straight up. And what you choose to do with it, that's your business. Like we said, we don't judge here. And if you want to learn how to manipulate and charm people to do exactly what you wish, then you came to the right place. So please keep watching. Truth on Command presents How to be manipulative and charming 12 proven ways Number 1. Be flirty Sex sells. Always has, always will. So what you should do is bring out your charming and flirtatious side. Blending both charm and flirtation will make the person feel really good. And then they'll be open to be manipulated in any way you desire. Number 2. Own your emotions. Before you can manipulate anyone, you're going to have to master your own emotions. If you're not in control of yourself, you're making yourself a target of your own game. When necessary, you have to laugh. Shed a tear when needed. In other words, you need to put on an act. So depending on the emotion you want them to feel, you'll need to be able to use your emotions on demand. Number 3. Make sure they trust you. People who've been manipulated before are usually pretty receptive to the signs. So to get around that, you're going to have to make them trust you. And one of the best ways to do this is to open up to them and talk to them about something very personal. When you open up to them on a personal level, they'll see that you trust them and offer their trust in return that you can use. Number 4. Be likable. None of this will work if the person you're trying to charm or manipulate doesn't like you. Whether you're a good person or not is irrelevant. Your goal is to make them trust you through likability. So if you're a negative person, put those true feelings aside and bring out that smile of yours. And once you get them to like you, you may do what you will. Number 5. Learn to read body language. Most self-expression comes through non-verbal communication. People may say yes or no, but it's your job to read them and see if that's really what they mean. Are they avoiding your eye contact or fidgeting? If so, that could mean they're lying or feeling uncomfortable. Conversely, if they're holding your eye contact and they seem relaxed, they're listening and probably trust what you're saying. Number 6. Try the old guilt trip approach. Your mom probably did that to you a thousand times when she wanted you to do something. When you make someone feel guilty about something, they'll try to make up for it. And that's when you offer them ways they can compensate. Remember, this technique works best with people who are prone to feeling guilty. Number 7. Play the victim. We personally can't stand people who play the victim, but it works sometimes. If you're going to play this card, you can't use it all the time though. People get tired of victim behavior after a while. But if you're going to use the victim card, match it with the guilt trip approach for maximum results. Number 8. 
Number eight, use what you've got. If you have a pretty face or a hot body, use it to your advantage. We know that might be tough to hear, but it's definitely the easiest way to get someone to do something. Many people are shallow, so you might as well ride that train if it gets you what you want. Number nine, bring out the bribe. Yes, this is still a thing. First, make sure you find out what that person needs. Then you can bribe them with material, emotional, or mental rewards. They'll feel persuaded to do what you want because they see it as a benefit to them. But remember, you're bribing them gently, not blackmailing them. Blackmail is something you should never attempt. Number 10. Show a little vulnerability. The beauty of showing vulnerability is that it makes us more humane. There's nothing more charming than owning up to your vulnerabilities and rising above them. Admit to your weaknesses and promise to do better. Then ask the person you wish to manipulate to help you get there and they'll give you what you want. Number 11. Fear and Relief Technique This technique for manipulating people involves you playing with someone's emotions and consists of you helping out that person when you see they're about to give up. The goal is to give them an emotional boost that leaves them unguarded. And in those moments, they're most likely to give you what you want. Number 12. If you get caught, don't act manipulative. This is a rookie mistake when learning how to manipulate people. Once they're caught, they continue to show manipulative behavior. What you actually need to do is to act calm and allow them control of the situation. This way you create doubt in their minds and you'll get away with it red-handed. Okay, now that you know how to be manipulative and charming, it's time to protect yourself from those who disrespect you. So it's absolutely crucial you watch this next video right now. Please watch this next video right now while everything is still fresh on your mind. Please watch this next video right now. We'll see you there.